Hey there, everybody. Today, I am going to show you how to make some super simple and super shiny foil art today. So, of course, you're going to need some aluminum foil. You're going to need um, some light cardboard, like a recycled cereal box or any sort of box, really. You're going to need Sharpie markers, okay? Sharpie is really what's only gonna work for this particular project today. Also going to need scissors, pencil, and some wet glue. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil and on my recycled cardboard here, I'm going to draw the image of what I want to create today. And I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a sun. My son somehow turned into a flower here, so I'm gonna give it some detail, um, just to make it a little bit more like a sun. And also, the more detail that I add to this, the better this is going to turn out. I like drawing it out first because I like to get everything down exactly how I want it because now I'm going to trace over all these lines with my glue. Now wet glue is what we need for this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my pencil lines and all these pencil lines are now going to become glue lines. So I have traced my pencil lines with my wet glue as cleanly as possible. If it's not absolutely perfect, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can because now I want this to dry. Now it is gonna take a few hours, but it's gonna be so worth it because this glue is gonna create some raised lines that will um, create some interesting areas for you to color later. Now, while that is drying, I'm going to show you another interesting way to do this project. If you don't feel like waiting around for your glue to dry, or if you just like things a little bit more precise, I'm going to start the same way I did last time. I'm going to have my piece of cardboard, I'm going to have my pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and draw out what I want on here. Um, I'm not going to use glue this time, but I still like to practice and make sure I get my drawing exactly how I like it. I'm going to take some of this foil here. And I am going to draw this on my foil. Okay, I'm not going to trace, this was just a practice, but I'm gonna draw this image on here and I'm gonna do it with my pencil. Now I am going to make sure the lead in this mechanical pencil goes away because I'm just going to be using the plastic side here because I'm actually more gonna be digging into this foil. You can also do this with a regular pencil, just make sure it's kind of dull because you don't wanna poke holes in here. And I am going to draw on top of my cardboard here because it's gonna just have some nice soft backing there. I'm gonna press the sides of it just so I know where my rectangle is kind of gives me some guidelines. And now I'm going to take my pencil and start with that cactus drawing on here. I'm gonna push as hard as I can, trying not to poke a hole. And I'm pushing into that foil here. So now I've got an interesting foil design here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and you can see all of my lines that I drew are now raised up just a hair. And that is going to be so helpful when I color it in with my Sharpie. You see, I got a little bitty hole there, but that's okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. What I'm gonna do next is very carefully, I'm gonna glue this 
onto my cardboard. I'm gonna take some glue here and I'm gonna just very lightly spread some glue on there. I'm gonna take my drawing, I'm gonna stick it on there, and I'm gonna try to line it up as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to flip over onto this side, and I'm going to fold, I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue here, I'm gonna fold the foil almost like I was wrapping a Christmas present. That way it's just all nice and flat and nice and clean. I am ready to start coloring in with the Sharpies. So I'm gonna grab my Sharpie here and I'm gonna start coloring the green here. And the neat thing about Sharpie on foil is it just gives it this really shiny, really kind of slippery effect here. It really makes the Sharpies look just brilliant. And as I'm coloring, I'm pushing down a little bit, pushing down until I run up against that line, against that ridge that I created with my pencil. Now you can see these little detail marks that I did with my pencil the sharper your Sharpie, the more pointy it is, the easier it's going to be to get in those spots um, that I made with a pencil. This is essentially the same thing that I'm gonna be doing with the glue, except the glue makes the lines a little bit fatter and a little bit easier, and the pencil is just a little bit more detailed. There is my finished foil art made with the pencil. A uh, little tip, the harder you push with the pencil when you're drawing this, the better your raised lines are gonna be. The easier it's going to be to, to color it in. Now another way you can do this is going back on top with black Sharpie and tracing the lines. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I did this one the same way that I did uh, the one I just showed you, but after I had colored in all my little sections, I went with a black Sharpie and I traced the lines on top and it gave it kind of an interesting effect here. Now if this is too detailed for you uh, with the pencil, if the lines are just too small, you're going to like the glue lines that we just did. So now my glue is all dried and left behind are these nice raised lines here. Now if you don't want to wait so long for your glue to dry, you can do hot glue with this or you can even lay down your glue and then take yarn and go um, and then trace around on top of it. But I tend to think that just the straight glue is pretty simple. So. Now that I have it nice and dry, the next step is going to be taking my foil. I'm gonna lay it down on top of here and I'm going to rub. Now you can see the pattern is kind of starting to show through. And now comes the really tricky part. I'm gonna very carefully flip this over without wiggling it too much. And then just like I did before with my other piece, I'm going to put some glue down on the edges and I'm going to fold it nice and neat. So now my foil is folded nice and neat. I can see a little bit of the design poking through here. I'm gonna give it a little extra rub just to be sure. And what I'm gonna do is just like the other piece, I'm gonna start coloring in these little sections with my Sharpies. As I color in with the Sharpie, it's gonna be nice and shiny, but I kinda wanna press really nice and hard because that's gonna make sure that the foil really gets pushed down into that little well there. And I've got my nice little glue line there to kinda stop me, to give me a good border. 
Now, one thing I like about the Sharpie is if I accidentally make a mistake there and I get on top of where I don't want to be, it doesn't dry right away, so I can kind of take my finger and just kind of wipe it away and my mistake is gone. Now I'm going to keep on coloring until my entire piece is colored in. So there you have it. Some interesting ways to doodle on foil. Now the glue versus the pencil is strictly a personal preference. I kind of like the glue because I really like the thick lines that it leaves behind, but perhaps you like the pencil or perhaps you like the colored in with the black or perhaps you just want to give your three-year-old some sharpies on a foil and let them go crazy <laughs> it's really an interesting uh sensory activity for all ages so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you get creative <laughs>